Universal Orlando City Walk is getting a brand new Universal store, and the progress on it looks absolutely positively incredible. Didn't they already have one? I very clearly have no idea what I'm talking about. Welcome back everybody to Universal City Walk, this time at night and with Becca. Hi. Things are different. Uh, you remember that Universal Studios store we kept talking about last time? Well, it turns out uh, it was pretty close to, a lot closer to opening than we thought. It's open. So, last time we looked at legacy stuff, last time we looked at classic Universal stuff, let's go check out the new. Looks like this first section is entirely uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, and Velocicoaster. This brand new tumbler cup with all the uh, facts and whatnot of the Velocicoaster. Which, by the way, fun fact, uh, is officially going to open on June 10th. There's also t-shirts, mugs, Looks like they got plenty of flushes. Uh, we got some How to Train Your Dragon, we got some Transformers, Marvel, some Dinos. We also have this here Team Boy. Uh, some of these teams have been featured in the park already. Not all have though. Monday's got me right. That's a new one. I've got that dad bod. It's hilarious. I really like that free Gobby shirt too. I might have to pick that one up for myself. Getting on in, over into another room. We have uh, an entire wall dedicated to Fluffy. A stuffed animal from Despicable Me. Which you can buy. Uh, on the other side is the uh, area of the store that I lose all my money. Which is pins and keychains and all that. It's a Jimmy Fallon fake, you know. That's hilarious. I'm also a pretty big fan of uh, Dom's car from Fast and Furious pen over here. A bunch of Simpsons stuff. Like you get your very own Duff Beer can pillow or hat or tank top. Part of me kind of wishes they would sell the Duff Beer in the store. It's very busy and I could use a drink. There's also a whole bunch of uh, legacy items stuff like that classic universal studios denim jacket that sold out very very quickly 
And I gotta say, I'm a big fan of the projected screen. I know they're just playing Universal commercials, but it's a nice touch. Over here we found some sweets. We got cotton candy in a container over here. We got all of the mix and match three for 10 candy bars that they sell outside of the rides. Like they have Spider-Man, they have the Avengers, they have Back to the Future, Jaws, E.T. You know, I've never tried any of the character themed candies, but they look so interesting. Maybe one of these days we're, we're, we'll have to come back on video and try to do like a taste test type thing. Getting on into the next room, which looks to be Harry Potter. We have Hogwarts stuff. And it looks like on this wall over here, we have stuff for each house dedicated by section. Like here's a very cool Gryffindor keeper shirt and a Slytherin keeper shirt to match. Along with handbags, hats. Just about anything a Harry Potter loving fan would want or need, to be honest. You can even get Harry Potter collectible coins, you know, like the pressed pennies and whatnot. Here's a look at some of those designs. And uh, to make it easy, you just put some money in, you know, like swipe your credit card rather than uh, cranking a, cranking a, a, a crank. I think. I don't know. You know what I mean. I don't know. Press pennies. There is also a house representation uh, coaster set. I also quite like this collection. It's pillows and looks like a journal and whatever this block thing is. Some coasters and a mug with uh, everybody's favorite Dumbledore quote. Uh, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light. You can even buy a toy deluminator. And it looks like when you tilt it back, like it, the lantern itself like turns on and off. That's a cool toy. They also have these very, very cool displays with all the character wands. Like for instance, that's Harry's. And uh, that would be Hermione's. And of course they got Ron next to it. Very nice little character wand display if you wanted to check all of those out. Being the Slytherin that I am, I'm a fan of these here Death Eater wands. Look at how cool that looks. Which wand do you like? Um, honestly, I really like the Death Eater swirl. Look at that. They, they really do have the coolest looking wands. Yeah. So that'll about do it from the newly opened Universal Store here at uh, Universal Orlando City Walk. Uh, it looks gorgeous in there. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the designs. A uh, lot of stuff we've seen in the park before. Uh, some stuff that we haven't though. Some very, uh, some new stuff, especially that Velocicoaster merge. Very, very cool. I like some of the Harry Potter stuff they had, like the dishware and dinnerware. I don't think I've seen that before. No, yeah, it is nice to get that like kind of niche like if you want like some homeowner stuff you know yeah. you know bring your love of the parks home you know that very nice. very very nice touch and i didn't get much i just got the one thing but i did get this here journal uh happiness can be found even in the darkest times even if if we just you know what whatever i said it in the video you know albus dumbledore quote look it up you got it anyways it's a journal Runs at $16.95. I did get the pass holder discount, made it a little over $15. Um, what's gonna be nice is all of these blank pages will go to future video ideas. Yay. Very, very nice. As for right now though, and as for this video, go ahead and subscribe down below for weekly adventures. Ring that little bell icon for notifications on every single episode. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Ravenclaw, or you can also get your own very own wax seal and then you can put that wax on just about anything especially the letter that you're mailing off to Hogwarts because they didn't send you one when you were 11 and you're mad.